It's time to get this runic blade going. First, I gotta get the skeleton out of my way. It's the only thing that stands between me and getting super strong. So yes, I'm looking forward definitely to uh, equipping this right away. We just drink the strength potion. Get this up to 13 strength. And now we throw four upgrade scrolls into that. We'll bring it to... Down to 13. Yep, 14, so three more. So Runic Blade is a safe play. You know, it's a tier four. You can equip it sooner. And it's not quite as strong, but the reason it is strong is because the scaling is one to five. The same as like a tier five weapon. So it should go 10 to 55 the next scroll, right? Yep. Ooh, 10 to 56. It went up. It went up six. Oh, oh, I wonder because of our strength or something. I don't know, but that's pretty good. I guess the reason it's not quite as strong as tier five weapons though is because it's the base damage starts out a little bit lower. So you definitely won't end up as strong in the end game, but the early game will definitely help you secure a win. That's why I call it a safe play. But look at that, two to 12 to 10 to 56. Absolutely insanity or floor seven. <laughs> I almost wanna go back and like take my revenge out on every enemy that's hurt me. And that's why if you remember the uh, warrior video I made, the last one, one of the titles was cathartic aggression because I'm taking my aggression out on all these enemies that have beat me up up till this point and just like been totally brutal. And now it's just like, it's per it, it, honestly, it is personal. I just love smashing them now. So you are projecting it means it's gonna hit me from way down there. So the best thing I can do actually is stay out of its line of sight until I can get close. Then maybe we will go ahead and go invisible here and kill it in one hit. Absolutely. And even like these guys, I'll just smack them too. And I love the silent step. So that's going to stay asleep no matter what. And I'm curious enchantment wise, if should we, should we go ahead and enchant it now at plus six? The thing about that though, is we have, you know, two more upgrade scrolls coming on this floor. We have a bunch more and we're going to have to always we're gonna lose the enchantment, right? If we don't convert them to the fancy one. And that thing can start to take a lot of energy if you're like enchanting everything with it. What is it anyways? I always have to look it up special. It's way down here, right? Yes. Because you have to take something and make this arcane catalyst. Magical infusion. It's a bit of a pain. So I think I may just wait until, I don't know, maybe till the end of the, uh... see now I can just throw the upgrade on there right away. But also now it's another thing to think like, well, maybe we want to start holding on to upgrades till we get some plate and we can throw that plate on right away because like we're obviously really strong. So anyways, food wise, we can make ourselves a meat pie once we find the alchemy station. So if we look on here, we see it's on floor three. So that means it's going to be the third one. So it should be on this floor. We should find it. Unfortunately, my inventory is just an absolute mess. A May... Should we try this one on too? Yeah, let's try this on. Maybe this is male is plus one. So we equip it here and watch our turn timer. Ooh. Yes, this male is plus one too. Fantastic. You see how it only took us one turn, even though we have 13 strength? I am going to... I guess I'll just eat a food. So we are pretty dang strong. What I want to do here on... I'm skipping to floor nine because I actually kind of want to get to floor 10, the boss floor, so I can drop all this stuff down there. Let's see what the uh, wand maker wants. Rockberry? All right. I don't mind Rockberry. I'm actually going to look for the stairs. Ooh. Jade. Do we know what purity potion is yet? Let's go ahead and check out here. We don't. Could it be Jade? It could be since we just picked it up. So unfortunately, going ahead like that kind of loses track. I'm just going to drink it because I'm feeling a bit risky. Nice, it was indeed right outside the room we needed it for. Gotta love that. Okay, come on, let's keep going. And yes, I must remember to go back to floor eight, of course, because we're not done there. Just uh, eight having a massively full inventory all the time. But, oh, was there an enemy? Look, like I like go after enemies now. I'm not ever trying to evade them. Not good. Fortunately, we got the fire off. Before our meat burned up, let's go kill this guy. I'll do it right here. Nice. Get out of the line of sight of that one. Get it to come to us. Here we go. 
prison guards who I'd normally hate. Well, ruined blade time. Get absolutely destroyed. Where are those stairs? We could even step back through the door, get the surprise attack. Nice. Good there. And now we are, as my good friend Radiant Chaos likes to say, Unga Boonga mode, where we just smash stuff. We don't think too hard at all, fortunately. The strategy. The strategy is done. <laughs> we have reached the strategy, which is just to get super strong. But let's just drop all this stuff on the ground. I like to drop it here because I can sell it to the next merchant. And it's, you know, it's safe down here. So I think I'll drop the pro the potions as well. That should be enough inventory space, right? I'll just keep like the healing potion and the shielding because we will need those. All right, that's good. Now we want to actually get all the way back up to floor eight. It's kind of annoying, but not a big deal. We'll go back up. Let's go invisible because I don't want it to summon the skeleton on me. Where did it go even? I don't know. Go up here. There it is. Oh, it saw me. So if we go invisible, does it cancel? No, it doesn't, but they don't know where I am at least. And we two shot it. Nope, three shot it. Four shot it. All right, good enough. This feels like a door, doesn't it? This wall? No, weird. Maybe it's off to this side then. Or maybe it is on this side. There it is, oops. And I had clicked search already. Let's see, I have some talent points. Anything good here? I kind of will go into, often will go into this and I don't really even get this one. Either of these. I think I'll stick with my normal style there. I've got to worry about it too much. Okay, let's finish off floor eight. Nope, not jumping down. Oh wow, I didn't even realize that was a... This feels like a door, right? Yeah, of course. Definitely want to make some meat pie. Hmm. Probably not better than Ring of Elements. Ring of Tenacity, you know, it lowers the damage you receive, but it does as your low damage, as your low health. I mean, so if you're full health, it actually isn't doing much for you. I'll just hide behind here. Oh, it saw me. You clever girl. Gotcha. So I should go up and buy the Ankh so I can put all these uh, so I can bless it and actually start collecting these two drops again. I think I do have a trip back up to the merchant in store. I'll pause for that. You don't need to see me uh, backtracking all the way up. Oopsies, misclick. Playing a little fast now. Oh, you think so, huh? You can activate an infinite number of times too. So I'll just go along with the ride. No, I'm not. Sounds like fun. I am going to stealth at this point. Hmm. Door vibes, anybody? Kind of door vibes, right? Nope. All right, well, we checked. Definitely didn't want it to summon a skeleton there when it's like a corridor like that and I can't get through. That'd be very annoying. Nice, love this. Of course, we don't have anything cursed or anything. No, we don't really have to worry about cursed items either. So, oh well. So this area down here is probably our alchemy station. So let's go ahead and run up to it. I'll actually leave that well though. You know, we could hit it up. We might be able to hit it up on the Ascension. That'd be cool. Here's our strength potion. Drink her down. Get up in here. Beat pie, of course. That's like the main go-to all the time. Ooh, nice. Go ahead and turn one of those into energy. And I'll just go ahead and make these because they are energetically the same. But wait, so haste. Do I have haste? I just want to make sure. Nope, I don't know what haste is yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Like one reason to keep the seeds and stuff separate is if you're making catalysts. And storm bind, that's levitation, right? Do I have levitation? No, okay, sure, I'll make it. One and two and a three. Get the levitation, great. Anything else? Not quite, almost. We could like try doing two and one, but I don't really want to mess with that. 
And then we can always go one of my favorite potions. Of course, there's going to be goo plus a healing potion, but I'm not going to do it now because the potions, I don't have the potion bag yet, the bandolier. So it just takes up more inventory space. Good enough for now, right? Getting like minor door vibes from down around here. Nope, not really. Giant skeleton. Even like with the overpowered runic blade, I still don't want to fight it, but I will. This is the ultimate revenge. Get these giant champions. Nice. So annoying. 75% less damage. It's like you gotta kill four of them. Alrighty. So, what to do? Let's check this back area. These usually have doors that sometimes have treasure. Nope. We could also check up here. Nice. Nice. Oh, I guess I could have identified these scrolls. Oh, well. Do you remember which one was magic mapping? Was it this one? I'll have to check back. Oh, right. No, Rogue automatically identifies magic map. That's right. Yeah, so now I'm actually going to hold on to um, the upgrade scrolls for a bit, and I may get something I want. Ring. How are we on rings? We could use a good ring. A uh, wand, we don't need so much. Because we're kind of good for damage, utility, and we're good for utility. So we should go ring. Yeah, let's have a look. Oops. Obviously, we need the key first. Just hit pause, let him come to me, and get a smacked. This looks like Rockberry Land. Yeah, so Rockberry Land, you got to go invisible. Because it's like a little gauntlet. With all these guys here. If you have an invisibility potion, that's good as well. Yeah, yeah, I'll use all the charges. I don't mind. And definitely don't want to be next to them there. And I don't feel like the poison does too much damage here. But I think it's time to eat this meat pie for sure. A little bit below 50% health. Yes, Tengu is going to get... Hit pretty hard. Well, there goes all of our regain. We just ate it up and do. <laughs> Let's go invisible. There we go. Nice, nice. And not a mimic. I think I'll go invisible too. Just summoning the skeletons. Pretty annoying. Scale armor, huh? Nice. And for these, I don't have like a good AOE, but I do have magic missiles. Hmm, I do have a bomb. <laughs> they drop the bomb and then like click here and there. Uh, I don't know. It's It sounds a bit creative. And by that, I mean like sometimes you'll end up getting in trouble trying to be too fancy. I think I'll just go ahead. Oh, remove curse scroll. Oh no, what, what's remove curse? That might be worth pausing for. One sec. Already, yeah, I just checked my notes. It is this one. I remember the merchant had this one. And the other, we knew we had identified magic mapping and one we didn't know at the merchant. So, of course, it was this one. So, let's use it. I believe we just read it and we'll get the option. I've never had the uh, this thing before, actually. It's the first time I've encountered it since the new update. Well, next to the spirit, the curse is lifted. It'll be grateful. So, let's try it. I guess I just use it. Read. Oh, nice. It gives us an item. Great. So let's smack these ones here. What do we get? A short sword. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it was fun. We experienced it. Hooray. We can check it off the list. Our inventory is full again, of course. So I click this one too. So, uh, since all the spaces around me are filled up. None spawn. So what is the plan here? I guess I need to go down and drop even more gear, huh? Okay, you are evasi evasive. So just go invisible because then it can't dodge me. Perfect. And the loot stash. We'll just keep expanding the loot. So go ahead and drop you. Throw you. Um, 
I guess I shouldn't have dropped it there. Because we want to throw it down the hallway. We're out of space. Throw it. <laughs> what else? If I have one of the throwing weapons, good enough. I can throw it. Not even using throwing weapons anymore. Good enough, right? Hopefully that's good enough. I need all this gear because I need the money in order to buy stuff. Now this is unfortunate. I really wish I could get to the other side. Since it already started channeling, I think it's going to summon it no matter what, right? So maybe they'll walk away. Ooh, we'll just kill it while it's gone. Yes, it is plus one. Nice. So this short sword, is that plus anything? This the tormented spirit give you a guaranteed upgraded item or not any idea i have no idea um okay so we i think we said we wanted the ring utility one could be cool but also just like a, a an offensive ring or a defensive ring would be sweet yeah i was kind of afraid that was gonna happen what do we get ring of wealth oh <laughs> Okay. That could be cool. We could put everything else in the Ring of Wealth. I'm going to equip it. If it's cursed, we'll be okay. Equip it over the elements for now. Ooh, okay. Interesting. One sec. So I'm just doing some things. If we were to throw our two scrolls here and then the three and the six that we get from, from Caves and Metropolis, so six total into here, That'll get this up to plus seven. So with the ring of wealth, you round up, divide by two. So that's eight divided by two is four. So we'll get guaranteed plus four equipment drops. But And this one will give it another plus one. So we'll get plus five equipment drops. So basically, we would probably be high enough level. We would have to force to be farmed. We'd be forced to farm in the uh, Dwarven Metropolis there. We'd be farming food and we'd be farming plus five rings and armor. We'd be looking for some mail, maybe even another weapon at that point, honestly. And we would get like, yeah, plus five rings. It would be a thing. It'd be a major thing. Um, it could be fun. It could also be very tedious. I would definitely probably like quick cut through all of it because you know, all don't want to see me sit there and fight stuff forever. But it is something cool to know that you can do. That's kind of my take on Ring of Wealth. It's, it's fun to know like how to use it, but it doesn't always mean like you want to. <laughs> but you know, I'll probably use it over the elements because like even at plus one, I'm guaranteed to get a um, plus one, like oh, like plus two arm, armor drops, right? Because you round it up to two, to, so plus one, and this is another one. I think I'll get plus two stuff. I don't think I'm at plus three yet. But even so, like if I put two in it, I would be getting plus three gear, which could be worth getting so like plus three rings and stuff. Look at my inventory, it's just ridiculous. I know we've got, we're rich. I love how when you finish off Tengu though, it all like gets ported to the next place. Um, so I guess, you know what, that's something for the comments. If you want me to go all in on Ring of Wealth, leave it in the comments, and I will. And I'll, I'll do some quick cuts so you don't have to see it all, but I'll definitely lay down the foundation of how to do like a massive Ring of Wealth run. You end up being completely infinite. You have like hundreds of food. You never have to leave the dungeon. You could just sit there and fight forever, as long as you don't get too high a level, which means you have to avoid killing the golems in the Metropolis, because they will push you um, over the experience cap. And then you'll stop getting drops because there is a certain level i think it's like 21 or 22 where you still get drops like food and like magical drops and stuff but you don't get any experience so you kind of just sit in that sweet spot so here we go five of eight maybe i do i kind of want to recharge this but i'd rather do it when we've got the uh, locked in the room thing yeah so we actually don't even take very much damage from our mail so let's just walk up at you dodging Imagine. Ooh, you're slippery, Tengu. So if we move fast enough, we don't have to memorize where the traps are. Because they don't quite disappear. The trick with that is if you're um Ooh. The trick with that is if you move too fast, you're getting hit a bunch. And maybe uh you don't stop in time to heal. I like that. Okay, let's heal. Shielding, maybe she uses shielding. Um, which one? Which one? 
I actually don't even don't use this very often. Let's try this. It's plus 58. That's nice. Okay. Oh, that's actually the worst time to drink it though. Because now look, it just decays over time. Oh, I wasted it. Ah, good to know. So, um, I have to drink the healing potion anyways. It's a bummer, but it is what it is. I'm just going to go in with it. Oh, no. I'm not paying attention. I am doing better bosses, and I want to not get hit by any of this stuff. So, where is it? It's here. Is it going to be on me next turn? Do we get one more turn before the explosion? No. Okay. So, if we were going for the perfect score, we just lost it because I went the wrong direction. Good to know. So right here, normally you got to pass. Yeah. Going too fast because I was worrying about that, the shielding potion. And uh, I took that hit there from this explosion. So uh, we we got docked on the score. So like when we look at the, at the tally there at the end, it'll be like negative something. It won't be like the perfect 20,000. So if we were doing the six challenges, we would probably have to start over because we can't get the million points anymore. Ooh, like right now, it's a bummer. This it's almost like um, blink stone. Stone of blink. Time to like get into there. Or if I had some kind of haste, yeah, I could drink a potion of haste. Maybe I do that. To, I think I just have to get out of it before it explodes on me. Fortunately, and we'll just throw some ranged weapons here. I would like to get closer though, so we can actually, ooh, it's not cute at all. Just get up in here. It's kind of hard to see. It's on this one, right? It's not up here, right? Pretty sure that's what it is. Ooh, it's hard to get through these. Okay, so I'm just gonna risk it with a haste. I can get through, nice. 22, that's a lot of damage. I just want to keep running for it while I have the haste on. Ugh, it's so nasty. You know, I'm just kind of going for it at this point. Yeah, we messed up. We didn't get it at all. Pretty bad. It's okay though. Um, our meat, I don't want it to burn because I'm on fire, so I'm going to drop it and get out of the way. And yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the, the points for that one. This is what it is. Um, something to look forward to in the future, though, is maybe if I had used, if I had made some more of these blank stones or something. Yeah, so note this self next time when I'm going for the million points, I got to make sure to um, turn all these unidentified scrolls into those rune stones there because if we had. Turn the teleportation scroll, we would have had like at least two more of those blink rune stones. We could have been like jumping around and like hopping over those. Oh, I didn't even turn on the rock berry. Oops, I forgot. I gotta go <laughs> gotta go back to the wand maker. I have to go back to the merchant anyway. So uh I think I'll go do that now. So let me know if you want me to go full in on Ring of Wealth or not. Let me know if you want me to get plate armor and wear that, or if you just want me to go all in damage on the runic blade, because those are definitely options. Glass cannon is a viable build. Often I'll just go kind of half and half, like plus eight and plus six or something, but glass cannon all in on the runic plate is an option. So let me know and I'll see you then. Cheers.